hello youtube this is aman juman and in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to set up iis secure ftp server so i just uh, deployed a aws uh, windows server 2019 instance so here we're gonna set up uh, iis 10 and we're gonna deploy a secure ftp server so let's get started so i'm going uh, starting from scratch so let's go to the windows manager so i know you guys already have set up the iis but still if you guys uh, if uh, this is for those guys who who really don't know how to set up like the, they like to start from scratch so let's start this uh, okay yeah this is new thing so let's wait in a couple of seconds here because the server size is very small so it's gonna take some time so let's go to the local server first uh, we're gonna disable IE enhanced security because uh, we're gonna download some stuff using uh, Internet, Ex Internet Explorer so let's disable it and let's go to manage add-in rules and features server selection features uh, let's check uh, .NET 3.5 features and uh, we're gonna need telnet client and uh, so sorry, server rules uh, you have to select IIS add features in rules you are gonna select uh, FTP server FTP extensibility and you can select a couple of things if you need it so for me it's needed HTTP redirection and URL authorization Windows authentication yeah I think that's it so press next restart if it's needed so install so meanwhile uh, let's go to Internet Exchange. Let's download uh, Win SCP. So I downloaded Chrome. Then I'm gonna download Win SCP and uh, let's encrypt. Uh, let's encrypt uh, for Windows. Uh, I think it's called Certify, I guess. So let's download Win SCP. and certify windows this one so this is uh, this is gonna give us uh, less encrypt free SSL so as I'm not installing any premium SSL so I'm gonna use certify so if you guys uh, have your own SSL, it's okay. So it's gonna take some time to install because the server is pretty slow. Right here, download Win SCP, and meanwhile we can install Certify. Okay, we need CP also downloaded. And let's check the status of our IIS installation is uh, in halfway. So show in folder. And uh, let's run it using admin mode. So by the um, while I was setting up this uh, these things, I pointed my IP address. Sorry, I pointed my domain into EC2 IP address. So make sure you pointed your domain name or DNS uh, to your AWS EC2 instance IP address. So to check your in, uh, IP address propagation, you can uh, use this Windows R CMD and ns lookup 
so I set up a subdomain so which is AWS dot lex corp dot me so you can see this is my IP address rubber IP address so if these things come up that means your pointing is perfectly working so you are ready to deploy a IAS site and you can issue SSL with less encrypt otherwise you will fail uh, so make sure you point your IP address to uh, your domain so let's set up uh, oh you is already set up so let's install win scp so many many users use uh, filezilla as a sftp or ftp server but uh, sft uh, sorry client so i do not recommend use filezilla because it's pretty much uh, complicated but WinSCP is there's lots of option in WinSCP and you can uh, it's like a modern version of FileZilla so it's, it's my opinion that uh, you guys can use WinSCP instead of FileZilla so no I'm not gonna open it finish so let's close this uh, it's gonna take a couple of minutes uh, so I'll pause my video so the installation is done let's close this so let's open IIS so here in IIS manager uh, we're gonna set up a new site so let's disable the default site stop so in new site let's add a website let's give a site name aws.lexcorp.me so physical path so i don't have any physical path created so let's create a new folder let's give this folder a name sorry folders showing there okay I think I enabled my folders here okay in here let's give uh, the folder name and protocol is HTTP port 80 and let's give the name host name as a server sorry domain name so start and let's uh, put a file there let's create it one file mm -mm. open wait I'm sorry there is a notepad okay so if we visit our site we can see that it should be you can see that the, the file is showing there so that means our main site is working so now we're gonna set up um, FTP on it so if we set up FTP we must need an SSL so let's open our certify so certify in start menu certify the web so it's a less encrypt SSL so if you have SSL uh, already from third party or somewhere else you can just install it but uh, I'm just showing this one because of uh, I I don't have any third party SSL right now so I'm going to use free SSL so let's uh, give a domain name sorry give my email address so I just registered myself in here so now uh, new certificate and uh, is gonna new manage certificate instead of this I'm gonna let's 
and I'm gonna give it a name as AWS dot dot me. So no I site. I'm gonna select my site. Mm, that's it. Authorization HTTP two deployment mode auto preview. Mm, let's give a test. If everything is okay, it should okay. Yeah, that's no problem. So let's issue SSL. So it's gonna take like 20 seconds to get an SSL. Certificate, okay, request is done. So let's check our IAS now. Restart. So here we can see binding. You, you can see HTTPS is there and edit. So as you guys can see, uh, the SSL is there. So, so let's just let's now start uh, setting up our FTP server. So if we set up our FTP server, first of all, we have to go FTP publishing mode, add FTP publishing, uh, and all is on as end. Okay, that's okay. Enable virtual host name. So if you have lots of site hosted in your one single IAS server, then you should go with this one. So this is uh, I'm going to I'm going with this setup. So let's give it name AWS dot dot me your domain name. So it says that SSL. So I'm gonna only use FTPS, not FTP. So it's only I'm gonna use completely all of uh, everything over encryption mode. So allow uh, require SSL. So select SSL. I'm gonna select my SSL next. So authentication. Uh, I'm gonna give it as a basic and allow access to. So I'm gonna give it to a specific users so I'm gonna allowing uh, only administrator permitted users so I'm gonna give it add m i n i s g r a g r administrators read and write access finish that's it and now we're gonna test it so I'm gonna create an FTP user in here so in tools computer management so I computer open computer management in here in users so I'm gonna create a new user uh, let's give it myself as a name man so give it a password create so I'm gonna assign myself as a admin user member of admin or I can just set up myself as a specific user there. So okay, apply. Okay, done. So we're gonna check it again. Authentication is sorry, it's not authentication. Uh, FTP authentication, basic user, and then uh, authorization is on the administrators. So now if I open uh, win SCP so we're gonna put our server IP in host name so it's 52 77 33 206 and the username is Aman and password so it's not FTP, it's, uh, F, so it's SFTP, not SFTP, it's FTP. So it's recur encryption, so I'm gonna give it TLS over SSL encryption, explicit en encryption, uh, give it, okay, oh, so I forget something, uh, username is supposed to be uh, my domain name, then uh, what is called, I don't know the sign name. Um, so let's give it just follow this aws dot lexcorp dot me uh, this one mm. then your username and save save password and let's try 
so you say connection failed so let's check our FTP port opened or not so CMD telnet local host 21 so FTP port is open now we're gonna enable our uh, passive FTP mode so let's go to our FTP uh, our IES server and now we're gonna open our firewall so set our firewall rules so FTP, FTP firewall rules so channel let's gonna set 5000 uh, to 5100 and the external IP address so it must be server IP address 77.33.206 then apply so then we're gonna check our windows firewall so in uh, AWS uh, security group I opened everything to make sure making these things easier so let's open windows Defend defender and firewall security and we're gonna check our inbound rules uh, FTP yes uh, as you can see uh, FTP both is enabled now so we're gonna check again uh, I having some issue with server so I have to restart then I'll check again so I'm back again with server so let's start check now so let's log in connection failed okay I think okay we I forget to put a dot in here so enter the dot save and login so it says local policy on server does not allow TLS secure connect uh, connection so this is what happens with most of us and that's why this is the why I am making this video so there is some uh, small trick to fix this issue so let's go to the IAS server because we set up everything but uh, this issue always come up when you set up the SSL so first of all you have to set up a default SSL for your FTP server in IIS so here you can see uh, the this one the main page so here we're gonna set up our um, certificate in here so SSL uh, FTP SSL settings you can see that there is nothing in here so we have to set up an SSL in here so let's go to SSL and I'm gonna select SSL so this is my server host name so I can use this SSL or you can use a self-signed uh, self SSL there so it's up to you so I'm gonna using this SSL because this is my host name so eventually you can uh, create your self sign SSL from here certificate server so you can create your uh, self sign certificate using this one so can I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna restart the server again and now we're gonna check with uh, our win SCP so logging you can see there is a pop-up here so it's because of we are using IP address instead of subdomain instead of subdomain or the host name so uh, you this issue will be gone if you use uh, IP uh, if you use subdomain in um, in the IP address, IP address section so let's give it a try let's gonna edit this and copy the subdomain save now logging see there is a no error message and now the FTP session is established over SSL so let's gonna check the SSL uh, FTP session FTP current session as you guys can see um, my session is running here so that's it that's all of about my video uh, if you guys like this my video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you